well as all the motorhomes, caravans and tents here, there's loads for kids to do. Um, they've got a health skelter behind us, they've made a beach area full of sand. We're on the pier at the minute and there is kayaking, paddle boarding. There's even bingo. Who's for a go on the Helter Skelter? I think I'll be giving that a miss today. And who would have thought you'd get a double decker bus in the corner of the room selling fish and chips? It smells nice. So this is where the YouTubers have been coming um, and giving advice in the afternoons. There's also been inspirational speeches on here. It's a really nice area actually, isn't it? Campervan Advice Centre. We're down with works down in the NEC. You're on stall, what's, what's your number of stall? 5062. It's directly opposite um, where the kayaking is, guys. So get down here. Mark's now going to show you a demonstration. And I can't lift it out of this tub box, I get no, in trouble. No, so. this is a works pressure washer. He's in his element. I know I've got one, I've got the original one, haven't I? You know, yeah, you Mark's like got the original one. Now these, pr the pressure for these, um, these ones are ideal for motorhomes. Yeah. You don't want to be using hard jets. It's really high pressure. I no, mean, it's quite a lot of pressure. Arches, they're just too high, um, and you, your seals on your motorhome let Mark let water through. So as you can see, Mark using it's it there. Yeah. Well, you just clip an hose on, don't you? You can put them in a bottle. I've got an attachment, you put a screw of pop bottle on, empty plastic pop bottle, can't you? If you yeah. need a bike wash or something. Or now the these, are, these are ideal because you can take them in your motorhome with you and when you get to your site you can actually wash yeah. your motorhome. Um, you're not having to get the sponge and bucket yeah. out and, and it's done in minutes. Yeah, and the key is because it's not mega high pressure, it's enough to clean what you need to do. Yeah, so, yeah. And, and that's what we like about them, so. Yeah, recommend this product all day long, guys. Everyone knows Fiamma, so I just thought I'd nip in and see what's on stall here. Uh, oh. It never stops with you. <laughs> Does anyone else get a motor on and never stop doing things to them? Because that's all what we feel. <gasps> There's some things. Yeah. Oh, that's nice at the bottom. It actually says Fiamma on it. Just go in the groove there, guys, and then you just pull them along. They're just like a wind thing, aren't they? Really? Yeah. Can you remember when Bob Earnshaw was putting that one on one of his videos? It took him about most of the day to put it up, didn't it? Because it, it Yeah, he did. Yeah, we watched that. It took quite a while to put it up. I think they're quite awkward to put up. <laughs> So we just found this, this is a Mink Expedition. Um, this is a really, really different piece of kit. Not for, not for a lot of motorhomers, but Mark's thinking, Twizzy, that we've got, and this on the back of it. He wants to shove me in the back of this. I'll just show you around. This is the kitchen, guys. So I'll come have a look at the kitchen. Really nice storage. Pots and pans. Under here, you've got your sink. That's a good scene, that, isn't it? Yeah. More storage in there. The classic you've is got, like a You've got expedition. a cooker there. Yeah. All this for 20 grand. And apparently you can get an awning on the back of this as well. It's even got cup holders in the wheel arch. How'd you get into this lady like? It's on, it's on its feet, isn't it? It's not going to tip off. Go on. So I've got the job of getting in. Here we go. Are you in? I mean, you can sit up. It's like a big bubble, isn't it? It's like a big sunroom. You can lay down. What a room, Mark. Here. For your clothing, that's like your storage, your cupboard space, isn't it? You got little pockets here. Yeah. 
You got heated controls there, huh? Yeah, it's got a leather headboard. <laughs> And it's fully heated, guys. And apparently there's solar on it somewhere as well. Yeah, it's on the roof, isn't it? I've seen the solar. Solar panels. Solar panels on there. So, that's how you get out. <laughs> Have a look in. Quite big, isn't it? It's got lighting, it's got like mood lighting down the sides as well. Smart, it's smart, isn't it? You even got a little anti-drip thing there so it doesn't drip in. It's called the Mink, and for $19.95, it's yours. So we've just come across this company, and they do wheelchair accessibility to caravans and motorhomes. And I know you know Dee and Liam, our friends from Wondering Wheelies. Mark's just gone in there on the ramp. We're just going to let us have a quick look round. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. Oh. Come, come on in. Brilliant. Let's have a look. So it's got a ramp access in there, and of course you've got the bigger aisles to get your wheelchair down. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. So you've got no doors in here. Everything's been taken out. It's so like you've a shower facility. It's like a wet room, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, full wet room conversion. That's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So, so do you do specific motorhomes when you do the conversions? Okay, if someone come to you with a motorhome, would you do it? Or yeah, absolutely. No, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What we, we we just like to do um, a bit of a, a design review to see what the layout is because sometimes doors are a bit too close to wheel arches or yeah, gas yeah. lockers. So yeah. widening a door, we just have to make sure that there is room to mm. be able to do the work. So originally there would have been a seat here. Ah, yeah, um, like a bench seat, yeah. travel seat. Yeah. So we've just. Yeah. Uh, widen the door and took that back to a cupboard. Yeah. Originally there would have been a double bed over the cab as well. Uh -huh. uh, the customer that uh, purchased this didn't require it. Again, the passenger seat has come That's away gone, yeah. and they can uh, travel up the front. Yeah. Uh, as long as the wheelchair is, is crush tested to be able to travel in. Yeah, so you can travel up the front. Yeah, because like Wondering Wheel is D drives, do not she? She so drives. She actually yeah, drives. Yeah, 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 right. Amazing. Yeah. This is absolutely yeah. amazing. Look at that. There you go. And what's your company called? Coach Bill. Coach Bill. There you go, go and check them out guys. Yeah, <laughs> so that's it guys. So you're locked. Day free, done, in the bag. It's been a tremendous show. It's been hard slog. Yeah, long days, aren't they? It's been really nice saying hello to a lot of you as well that's come up and said hello. Yeah, thanks for everyone who's come and said hello. Yeah, um, we just made one last purchase. For Mark to cook on. Yeah. Are you going to cook on that? Oh, it was cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, he's back in the van now, trekking back up north, up to north. Um, and we'll. Uh, Catch you all in a bit, I yeah. suppose. Goodbye to Birmingham. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.